Hello there, Malaysia. Today is the 18th of November 2016. It's the Friday, it's 12.52 p.m. So this is the Winsun Puchong restaurant. It looks huge and big. And this is the facade. The main office is upstairs. So that's me. Hello. I don't think I'll get a free meal because the manager who promised me a free meal two years ago by the name of Eve not IV Eve is not around so so today I'm going to have uh, something that's called uh, fish paste mihun fish paste mihun here is 11 ringgit and 90 cents wait, 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 wait. fish paste and wait wait I think I'll change it Can I change it to uh, fish paste and fish, fish head okay. mihun? Oh, thank you. So it's like half and half. So we might as well taste the fish. So you look up there, there's all those uh, sauces that uh, Winsun is making, like blachan sauce, tom yum sauce, and all those other stuff. You can purchase it from here. Of course, I got a set uh, to test to taste the ones here. I've tasted the chili sauce which is awesome. Tom yum is good too. I finished the onion lard. I cast out everything, finish it. Lovely. The ones that I haven't tasted is the tasty spicy seafood sauce and the special steamed fish sauce because I don't usually uh, make fish or cook fish. So yeah we can get one of these to uh, give to a friend because uh, well you like to give stuff to other people. So that's the takeaway of Tapao is in a cup. And Puchong, this is Puchong area, it's a bit uh, a bit quiet, but there are a lot of vehicles around. There's this uh, Columbus uh, cloud is going to like rain maybe in the afternoon. So maybe I won't like go to KLCC, I'm not sure because I'm feeling a bit under the weather, I'm still sick, I'm still having flu and my legs are, is a bit, uh, uh, call, what should I call it, aching from walking around in the Jalan Jalan Japan and hopefully my bike won't get uh, summoned or summoned because of parking in a non-designated area. So I'm going to treat myself even though it's uh, pretty expensive about uh, there's a dry version too. I don't want a dry version because I want to drink something that is hot. So I did not like get to go to town with the ordering of the food here. Unfortunately, since it's not free. So 10 ringgit and 90 cents for the meal is roughly about uh, less than three US dollars. Yeah, less than three US dollars roughly. So a very big uh, shop. And it's quite cool, even though it's like an open setting here, like, um, what should, what's that word called, I'm not sure, open air. It's very cool because of the, what you call, air conditioning unit. It's very cool and it's very nice. Of course, I'm uh, more familiar with the one in, what should I call it, uh, Sungai Bersi place. Uh, that one might be my own one. So better not sit here, it's near the door, it's not that cool. Not, I don't need to be too cold. So today's meal is fish paste and fish head mihun. So it's a combination of half and half of uh, fish paste and uh, fried fish head meat. So I've eaten here many times before, so it's uh, not a surprise. So that's the meal, and there's people. Thank you. So it's a very tall bowl, and the cheese here, of course. <coughs> I'm afraid that uh, I can smell the sesame. I think it's, it smells of sesame. So I need something hot and nourishing because I'm hungry, and maybe I'll be like get a get perked up. Eating food, maybe I have uh, 
the enthusiasm to go to King to uh, IC10 of KLCC to do some uh, videoing and walking around or maybe not maybe I should go back home and recuperate because uh, I need to like um, be fresh for tomorrow tomorrow is gonna be a big day let's see here the noodles is vermicelli aka bihun aka rice noodles so there is a fish paste here a couple one two three four and of course this is the fish head which I do not like it when it's like submerged in the soup because I want to preserve the crunchiness of the fish but if you like it soggy then it's up to you comes with a couple of uh, tomatoes lovely I love the soup it's white in color and that indicates that it has a lot of santan it's going to taste a lovely soup and uh, besides the santan there is of course jiao chao aka that's Cantonese for pork lard this is the pork lard that gives it a lovely taste so if you're old and you have uh, conditions uh, medical conditions then uh, I suggest you don't need this because there's uh, quite a number of uh, pork lard here Mm. Mm. Nourishing and good. It's very tasty. Reminds me of the sea. Mm. There's some kind of spring onions, crunchy spring onions on top, which gives it a lovely taste. And normally, this type of fish head noodles comes with, I think, a sliver of ginger. Normally, it does. There's a lot of uh, fish to be had, a lot of fish, look, there's uh, so many pieces of fish even submerged inside. So far I found about uh, maybe four, there's a lot of chiao cha everywhere. So there's a generous amount of fried fish, which is this one here, three pieces so far I found. It's like a treasure hunt, I have to look for it inside. So let's taste the... Uh, the soup of course is just so awesome, it's just so delicious. Mm. I feel re reinvigorated by the soup. Mm. And the pork lard is crunchy. Mm. Mm. So nice. Hunger is the best spice. Love it. Let's try the fish paste, which is this one. Mm. Of course, uh, some bihun has to wrap around it conveniently. Mm. You can taste the fish. What kind of fish? I'm not sure, but it's different from the ones that you get from the white fish ball. It's very tasty. Mm. And springy and it's texture is quite nice. Not bad. And when you're eating the noodles, you'll get a bit of uh, tomato. Fresh tomato. Bihun here the bihun that they use, the uh, vermicelli that they use, is thicker than normal vermicelli that you get outside. Mm. Soup is so good. Mm. If you do not like the santan that they use in the soup, then you can request uh, to have no santan in the soup, which actually makes it a bit blander. So I would suggest to go with the original soup. I'm feeling my body being heated up now just from drinking the soup. Mm. And eating this, you will definitely, definitely uh, sweat because it's just hot. Mm. Very nice. Next up is the fish head. Of course, there's no head to be eaten. It's just a nice chunk of fried fish. Mm. 
taste of fish, success. Sometimes they fry it until you can actually eat the bones. Drink a bit of the soup just to like adding more flavor into the morsel. And if you want to like make it a bit spicy, you got this chili sauce, a sambal, which I think is the same as the ones that are bottled. I love eating this type of sambal. I should not be eating this because I'm kind of like having flu. I should not be out and about actually. Mm. Yes. Eat this sambal goodness. Mm. Not all bones are edible. But with a bit of strength one can crush the bones. Mm. So good. I was first introduced to this uh, fish head mihun from Vinsun Cafe, this is Vinsun Cafe, not Vinsun Restaurant. Uh, was back then when I was like staying with my sister in a place called Jalil Damai Apartments, she would like uh, take, bring back the takeaway from Vinsun, and that's how it started. Mm. Good, it's good. The most important thing when it comes to having a lot of franchises and lots of, uh, how they say, Malay Chawangan or branches is to have consistency and I would say that the soup is, tastes the same as the ones found in uh, Sungai Bosida. Of course, I uh, must uh, warn you this is not halal or kosher. It's not halal and it's not kosher. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. Mm. Soup is so good. Love the soup. Get some of the sambal or chili paste to the fish paste. Spice your life up. Can yes, taste the production of the fish. Preserved fish. With it shrimp. Shrimp preserved in salt. Mm. That's chili too. Spring onions, uh, pepper here and there, gives it a freshness to it when you eat into it or bite into it. Tomatoes, mm, components, the soup, lovely. Side when I've uh, tasted the chili sauce by 
or on its own this chili sauce here of course it's uh, freshly made every day it seems to be uh, there must be a balance between the chilies and the, the lachan and other ingredients seems that the, for today's chili it's a bit too much on the lachan there's a lot of lachan in this instead of chilies normally you don't get a lot of lachan I'm not sure what it was like back then maybe it's following the founder of yesteryear maybe 20 years ago but there's a lot of lachan in this chili sauce which is kind of like weird because nowadays you only taste a bit of lachan and more chili so there's more lachan in this chili sauce which is very weird now Besides the ginger, there's also some kind of vegetables like this one here. It's like a preserved vegetable. I'm not sure what it's made of. Maybe it's made of celery. But slightly, I would say, vinegary, crunchy. Maybe it's fresh vegetables or I'm not sure. I can't like, identify with it. Something like preserved Chinese vegetables. eating this bowl will be so full So it's 
the good meal. And the downside is the chili sauce. Chili sauce has a lot of uh, chili sauce has a lot of uh, a lot of the lachan. Hey, this one is from Tsunami Bussi Yellow. Do you want to eat it? Oh, So, Winston has a lot of uh, branches. There's one here which is in Guizhou, one in Sungai Bersi, one in SS2, and a few more branches. It's all in Selang. So, the branches are. Ah. Okay, my phone. Thank ah. you. So, you have Facebook more? I have Facebook, I have YouTube, and I have Facebook. Winston can pay Facebook. Ah, hello. Ah. mention in regards to the Winsun noodles, uh, fishy noodles that is, the soup. I thought it was sesame oil but it's not sesame oil, it's actually after burping it out, which is awesome. It was Shaoxing rice wine that was used in the soup that gives it a very nice sweet taste. Mm, nice Shaoxing rice wine. Again, that bowl of noodles. It's not kosher, it's not halal, it's not halal because uh, it's not kosher because there's a fried fish as why is it not halal? Oh, because of the alcohol. 